Hey guys, welcome back to Nerd Insider. I'm Regalian. I'm Danny. And today we have Supergirl Season 2 Episode 3, Welcome to Earth. So, for the past two weeks, we had Superman on here, but he went back to Metropolis. Yeah, we don't know when he's coming back. And then this week, we have Linda Carter. AKA Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Classic Wonder Woman, not, not Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. And then uh, Miss Martian's gonna be in this too. I yeah. heard that uh, in this show, John and Miss Martian are gonna have like a love a little, interest. Yeah, like a thing. The hell? Which is weird. gonna be weird considering, at least as far as I know, like I don't know if it's Justin Young Justice, but they're like, you know, that's her uncle. Yeah. So. I guess to me, it's kind of like Batman and Batgirl having a thing. Like oh, yeah, back in uh, The Killing Joke. That was weird dude because I've always seen the two as like a father daughter, father -daughter thing relationship you know? if you guys didn't already know we're doing a Halloween special this year so if you guys have any suggestions on what we should react to um, anything scary or terrifying uh, leave it down in the comments down below anyways with that being said let's get started oh, my God. oh, oh shit, shit. She's cute. I know. Melissa's acting is like one of the best in this show. She's the one who's lucky to meet you. Thanks. Should I get a blowout? Oh dear God. Oh my 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 God. President Wonder Woman. Oh, oh shit! Fuck. That. What the fuck? God damn, that dude got. Oh, damn. we're getting roasted! What the hell do you think you're doing on my crime scene? Anyone ever tell you all you fence on this thing? It's like you all watch the same bad movies together at Quantico. Who are oh. oh, hey. Detective Maggie Sawyer, NCPD Science Division. Aren't you from Quantico? This involving aliens. See you around, members. She looks like that lady from Quantico. Well, and then she just yeah. mentioned it. What the hell? Backing that up properly. I'm calling you Lena. Car it is. And um, if you have a parking ticket, I can have it validated for oh, you. Oh, no, no, no. That's Didn't they call her Lena Luther uh, last time? No. No, it's Lena. What is it? It's an alien detection. But the last uh oh! Among them is not truly one of them. It's like a metahuman detector. Yeah. We're still developing the prototype. Now you try. Uh oh! Oh, I gotta uh -oh. get out of this. But a device like this. How are you gonna get out of it? To say the very shadows the president is trying to shine a light on. Millions want to be citizens. That's now their right. But if humans want to know which of their fellow citizens aren't actually one of them, then that's their right too. Both valid points. Bell Corp is in the business of making money, and this device is going to make us a fortune. And like my brother, this one's a robot, which is a human in the world. So, doesn't she have hidden cameras? Right. Right. Look at it. Look at this stereotypical Asian guy. Something's going to happen to this dude, isn't it? I was. Really proud of that sentence. <laughs> he doesn't like it. What the hell is this? It's a clear slant in your reporting. If I wanted your opinion on the news, I'd assign yeah, you an op-ed. It sounds biased. Yeah. So, so I I shouldn't report truthfully. There's a difference between it's truthful not truth reporting and yeah. bias reporting. Yeah. This is oversaturated with your pro-alien slant. Facts, Miss Dambers. Who, what, when, where, why? Nothing I Pretty wrote much. was inaccurate. That device is bad. A Objectively bad. That's up for the reader to decide. Yeah. Yeah. Not the reporter. Not the reporter. Your personal feelings to yourself. She got some learning to do. Well, that's what happens when you're new at the now game. Now you know why they call him Snapper. A dive bar. Things aren't always what they appear down. There's she gets around. her intel from here? Probably. Oh no, they're all aliens! It's like an alien. Oh, bar. Yeah. yeah. Excuse you. Uh oh. Damn. This one's hot. And I really. Uh, Daxum. Oh. He's not Kryptonian. 
Any response? No. So he can't be Connor. Yeah, that's why he's Mon L. Yeah. Why is he an L though? He's not a Kryptonian. Then it's no wonder this guy's trying to kill the president, right? It still doesn't explain why. I'll yeah. No. It's not him. No, I'll do it. I think it's it was called, that hot girl yeah. that was boiling the juice with the nice tits. Was it a distress call? Why were you sending a distress call? Because I'm in distress. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He wants I'm not, to I'm not here by choice. I'm just letting my people know I'm alive. Uh, okay, so so if you're marooned on this planet, why are you trying to kill the president? He's not. Sorry, what's a what's a pres president? President. Until you see me when I'm angry. What's president? I didn't come here to kill anyone. Right, and you've already made up your mind about me. So. Yeah, she al she's, she's already judging him yeah. based off of his race. See, yep. it's the hot chick. Oh my God. It's probably I love how it, her hair is red. Yeah. And her ability is like fire. I thought you can't catch on fire. Hey, that was a Wonder Woman Easter egg. Did you tell someone to kill the first graph on my story? No, I didn't tell someone to do that. I rewrote the piece myself. Whoa. What? He's taking you a can't stand. Just yeah. my piece? Actually, it's never I can. Because I'm your boss. Oh. oh. Nice job. Nicely done, boss. <laughs> yeah, that face. He's so proud of himself. My name's Monel. Monel. So, uh, what now? Can you help me get in touch with my homeworld? Nope. It's gone. Uh, <laughs> Daxing is still there, but it was ravaged by solar storms. Oh fuck. It's like Mars now. Yeah. Your home. Well, the real Mars here. Oh, it was an honor. Not impressed, it was nothing. And I still can't believe I got to see Air Force One. If you think that's cool, you ought to see my other jet. Oh, oh the invisible oh. jet! I like the Easter eggs! Could she be any cooler? I suppose not. Oh. Whoa. What? She's an alien? Is this where he's gonna meet? Uh, Again. Miss Martian? Probably. I think that's her. Who are you? like when is she coming in right. when are we gonna see her how is she gonna be implemented in this episode and we got to see her in the end yeah it turns out she was the bartender this mm -hmm. whole time last daughter of mars again boys hello megan <laughs> hello megan <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna do that here probably right? okay. not probably okay. it's a different Storyline. It's a different Miss Martian. Yeah. I like the theme of this episode. Yeah. It's about like, like different races, different uh, background, whatever. Different ethnicities and like yeah. even though... I love know, how like yeah it's aliens but they also applied it with yeah, like, real with, life with, stuff. With race. Yeah. Which is really cool because it's entertaining but it's also teaching... Yeah it was teaching, a fun episode. It's, it's also teaching also, a yeah. lesson. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Even um, Supergirl was a part of that yeah, theme she because made... she judged uh, Mon L right away just because mm -hmm. he's a Daxamite, mm -hmm. you know? And then she was all for like, all oh, pro-alien, you know? Like, yeah, exactly. Except all aliens, but her herself... It's not was, doing the same thing, yeah. so, and she's an alien as well. Yeah, and she learned so. that lesson at the end, mm -hmm. which is cool. And then um, um, Alex too. Yeah, she, exactly. When she was talking to that Quantico lady. Yeah. She was like, oh, you know. She's I, been hunting them for so long, but she never, I guess, stopped to realize that. Yeah, they're not, not all bad. Yeah, not everyone's bad. And which is kind of funny because she, like, essentially is family with two friendly aliens. Yeah. Um, I also love the 
Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, was just I just, to say I, just that. Saw, I just saw two when the, Supergirl the did the spinning thing. And then um, the invisible. Uh, the, the Check invisible out my jet. other jet. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So the president Linda is Carter a Carter is, is an an alien. alien. That was a little bit of a twist. Yeah, didn't expect that. I mean. Now we see why she, yeah, she she's wanted that yeah. alien what act? Um, amnesty? Amnesty act? Something yeah. like that. What was your thought process when you heard of Daxone? My research of trying to figure out who exactly like mon -El is, I came across that they have essentially the same powers as Kryptonians but their weakness is lead and... It's not kryptonite. And um, lead unlike kryptonite, can cause irreversible damage to Daxum. I like Lena Luthor's uh, invention because mm -hmm. it, it, it reminded us of the metahuman detector. Yeah, that, that's was Cisco. It Cisco, made? Cisco. Yeah, Cisco made. That was cool. And then like when Kara kind of fried it, like I just thought like wouldn't, wouldn't she, she have... have like hidden cameras in yeah. her office? You know what I mean? So I'm I, yeah. kind of thinking a little bit that Lena already knows. knows. That I Kara would, is yeah. an alien. I wouldn't be surprised for one, because you know, for one, she's a Luther. You know, that being said, plus she's like CEO of Lex or whatever Corp, L Corp, right? L Corp. L Corp. Being CEO, you would think, like Ray said, there'd be security cameras. So I have a feeling like she already found out, and that's why she's being all like buddy buddy with Kara, yeah. or even more buddy buddy with her. So what did you guys think of this episode? What did you think of Linda Carter as president and Miss Martian? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Danny. I'm Ray Galleon. And this has been your Inside Scoop on all things nerdy.